Well, a proposal at the State House would stop local governments from banning the sale of dogs at pet stores. State House reporter Kristen Eskow shows us who's calling for the bill and why some city officials are pushing back. Some Indiana cities have passed ordinances to try to encourage animal adoptions and crack down on puppy mills. Carmel recently passed one banning pet stores from selling cats or dogs. When we passed our ordinance in Carmel, not a single Carmel resident contacted me with negative input. Adam Austin is on the Carmel City Council and led the effort to get that ordinance passed. He's spoken out against a bill at the State House that would block other cities from passing similar bans. Some animal rights groups, including the Humane Society, also oppose the bill. These stores don't need to, to sell dogs to be successful. Um, there are plenty of adoptable puppies um, at shelters and rescues, and there are stores across the country, um, even here in Indiana, that don't sell dogs. Under the State House proposal, already existing ordinances could still be enforced, but cities wouldn't be able to create new ones. The pet store chain Petland is pushing for the State House bill. The company didn't respond to our request for an interview, but had multiple representatives testify at a committee hearing last month. Activists promote and push retail pet sale bans to eliminate mills. However, it remains a fact that activists can't point to a single puppy mill that was closed because of a passage of a ban. Instead, pet store bans actually promote the use of underground pet trading. All three authors of the Senate bill declined our request for interviews. The House sponsors and other committee members who supported the bill also declined or didn't respond. In an email, the bill's lead author, Republican State Senator Blake Dorio, points out the bill requires pet stores to purchase only from breeders that are registered with the state and hold certain qualifications. Now, the measure passed the Senate, but on a tighter margin than many other bills. That's because some Republicans joined the Democrats in voting no. It now heads to the House for consideration.